Okay, y'all. Welcome back to Just the Facts. My name is Jimmy, and I'm with my co-host. My name's Eric. And today we got yeah, another NBA video. So it's been so long. How long has it been? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two fourteen NBA. days. I tell you, it's today. It's today day fifteen or is it fourteen? I think it's fourteen. I, I think it's about fourteen, fifteen. It's, yeah, something like that though. It was That's like still a long time. Two years, bro. <laughs> it was like two years, bro. But today we're really going to talk about. Who would win each award if the season were to end today? Um, obviously, there's like only 20 games left, so maybe the the results wouldn't have changed too much. But there's still some battles going on. Obviously, MVP Giannis and LeBron, and Rookie of the Year. I think that's locked up, but people want to say Zion still in it, but nah, I don't think he is. But we got some interesting award races here, so I mean, let's just hop into it. So, if, this, if the season ended today, who would be your MVP and why? Uh, for me, it would be Giannis, I guess. I mean, I want to say LeBron, but I guess, mm-hmm. I'll just go with Giannis just because he's been dominating all season long, really. Yeah. Just like last yeah. season, leading the Bucks to, you know, first in the Eastern Conference, averaging a double-double. Like, yeah. I think, like, three, four assists, something like that. And, um... And yeah, I mean, if I were to say LeBron, it it would be thirty. He's being he's doing what he's doing at thirty five. Yeah, that's that's true. Really, I really so, I'll, I really wanted to say LeBron after he beat the Bucks and the Clippers, and then yeah, <laughs> whole bunch of yeah, whole bunch of people were talking about whoa, Giannis has been dominating all season long. LeBron's just been dominating this these last couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, like a couple weeks ago, when they beat the Clippers and the late and the uh, Bucks in the same like weekend, I, I I actually switched over to LeBron. But now thinking about it, I think I kind of overreacted right there because, like you said, Giannis has been doing this literally all, all season long. They're the Bucks are like dominating. They have one of the like highest point differentials like in in NBA history, and he only plays like 31 minutes, bro. Like because they're blowing out everyone. But so his stats could be even better, but. Like you said, and also Giannis is like you can just see he's actually more a more of a valuable person on the court uh, because he has less less around him. You know, LeBron has Anthony Davis, who's another MVP candidate, but Giannis has Chris Middleton. No slout to no slout to him, but I mean, ugh, Chris Middleton, <laughs> Anthony Davis, bro. You know, so that that really gave me the edge to Giannis after coming to my senses. Yeah, but. yeah, I kind of, I kind of think I overreacted too. I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> MVP. Yeah, we're like a Giannis sucks and all this. <laughs> After like one, one uh, okay game, but yeah, I'll stay with Giannis for rookie of the year. I got, I got Jaw, bro. Like, there's no way I can put Zion ahead of Jaw at all. No one should ever w- should put Zion ahead of Jaw right now. He's only played like what 19 games. <laughs> Zion Zion on, his, all, all season long, bro. Like, Zion high. Knowing, knowing knowing the NBA world, they'll probably vote for Zion to win it. And he'll somehow win it. Just because of what he's doing. I mean he did have like a stretch of like twenty plus twenty plus points per game, but Josh has been doing it all season. You can't like That'd be highway robbery if you didn't give it to him, bro. Like, and he's also and he's also leading Memphis to the A seed. Eight seed. I thought they'd be the worst team in the league. They're eight seed right now. So that that fact right there alone just puts Jaw ahead of everyone. And then for me, also the thing is, what also kind of one other factor that just puts me past Zion is even if you would have put them in, even if you put them in the West Conference, they could still they would be seven seed in the Western Conference right now. Well, East. I mean East. Yeah, they they they, they would they would be seventh <laughs> in the East. Yeah. The, the most like confusing slash interesting one, most improved. So, what do you base your most improved player off of? Um, honestly, I base I base most improved just based off of how how they've played this season compared to last season, and how well they've improved. Like, basically, just to, statistically. Statistics. Okay. Yeah. Because how I. 
how I view most improved is a guy that really didn't do anything, didn't do much last year, and now he's like an all star or he's a borderline all star. So let me give you an example. People are saying Luca should win most improved. He was already this good last year. Yeah. I know he averaged 20, and he's averaging, what, like 27 this year. Like, obviously, he did improve more, but he was already starting right here compared to, like, Shea or Devontae Graham, who started right here. You or, know Jay, I mean? or, uh, or uh, what's it called? Jalen Brown? Jalen Or, like, Jalen Brown. Well, Jalen I'll put Brown him over a little bit. But, yeah. But, like... Like, Luca, I would not even consider him for most improved because he was already, like, an almost all-star last year. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just can't put that kinda, a guy like him in there. For me, I don't know. People that think Luca deserves it, that kind of, like, defeats the purpose of most improved. Who's, yeah. improved, the, who's improved the most? It's in the name. Yeah. yeah. And you also got to look at it, like, at a guy that, that doesn't, that you didn't really see that had the potential in it, in him, to do it, but he still do yeah. it. Like Luca, we saw the potential like last year, bro. He was going crazy last year. But a guy like Shea, uh, Bam, for example. With that being said, man, this was real hard, bro. <laughs> I I still don't have a I still don't have a clear cut, most improved. But if I had to pick a top three, it would be. Shay, Ingram, and and Bam. It just has to be those three for me. That's in, in order or just in general? Not, not in order, not in order. All right. I couldn't put that in order. For me, this for me this isn't in order, but just in general, I had I had Devontae Graham. Yeah, him uh, too. I forgot about him. Because him, he was in the G League last year. Yeah, I Devontae was like, Graham. I don't I was like, how could you even think of saying Luca when you have him? He averaged 4.7 points a game last season. Yeah, and now he's like top he five even, in like three point percentage. He he didn't even he played like he played like half the games he didn't even play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. to averaging exactly. almost to averaging almost thirty averaging points like, a game, eighteen point exactly. two. Exactly. I was like, come on, bro, and seven and seven point five assists, bro, <laughs> and he was three point contest like. That's oh yeah, crazy. I forgot to mention him. Though. I don't know why I didn't have his name. On there. But yeah, I had uh, him, Shay, and then who would I put in there? I put Bam. I like Bam. Yeah, put there's a there. lot of guys. There's a lot. Of yeah, guys there's a lot there. of guys. Like defensive player of the year. So my defensive player of the year is Giannis. He has like the second highest like defensive rating in the league. First. He, oh, first. He's, yes, bro, bro. First, <laughs> bro, he guards all five positions. Like, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> I saw. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but um, Ben Simmons was talking. He was playing like he was playing some shit on Twitch or something. He was playing a game, and uh, they asked him who's the top five defenders in the NBA. He was like, bro, I think Anthony Davis is a better defender than uh, Gobert because he can like switch. He can switch way better. And I was like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's I rather the versatility than like a one trick pony. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I got Giannis. Yeah, I had I, I had Giannis just for the fact he's number one defensive rating, and he's also leading the Bucks to the number one defense in the league as well. Yeah, and he can guard all he can guard all five <laughs> positions. What like like it's light work. So I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't take yeah. I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't if I had to choose a defender. I, there's no way I'm taking over Giannis. For sure. Yeah. yeah. And uh, obviously Kawhi is still a great defender. But, I mean, Giannis is just on – it's just different this year with Giannis, bro. He, <laughs> he's on a mission, bro. He's on a mission. Okay. Six man. Who you got, bro? Oh, man. This is really hard for me. This one's tough for me, too. Uh, for me, I'll go with Lou. Lou will again? Mm. Oh, Lou. I don't know. I had Lou. I had Montrose Harold. Does Montrose Harold start? No. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I had him on there. Um, I don't know. Just Lou, just he scores so easily. He can do 
he can do everything offensive wise, nothing defensive wise, of course, as we know him for. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, he did he did get clamped that one game against the Lakers. That kind of was like I was like, ooh, like, he yeah he was yeah they was yeah they wouldn't let him do nothing. They was switching on him <laughs> stuff. They was watching him on the inbounds. I was like, dang. But yeah, I mean, he's uh, um, averaging almost twenty. I mean, yeah. yeah. For me, I got. I got shoulder. I got Dennis shoulder, bro. Because... Oh, that's why I forgot. I knew I was forgetting bro. somebody. I knew bro. there was somebody on OKC, and I, I thought it was Shea. I was like, he 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 starts nah, though. Shea starts. So I was like, who am I? Yeah. All right. Yeah, bro. Dennis shoulder, like, bro, that lineup with CP, uh, Shea and shoulder is like god tier. But I was so shocked, bro. I was, I had them not even making the playoffs. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I had them like oh, top. God. I, I had them like top five worst team in the league. Jeez. I thought I thought the Suns would be better than them. <laughs> Honestly, that's crazy. But uh, I I thought I thought they'd be terrible because I thought they would trade Chris Paul to like the Heat or something. But and then they was talking yeah, about they was also talking about trading uh Stephen Adams too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I had them so bad. Like I thought they were just gonna trade everyone and start over. But no, I had shoulder. He averaged like nineteen also. But he did. He shot like way better percentage than Lou Will. He shot like five percent better than Lou Will. He's shooting like forty six from the field, and Schroeder led his team in scoring like seventeen times off the bench compared to like Lou Will's nine. So I mean, that gave me the edge for Schroeder, bro. And like his impact this year seems like it's like it feels like he's having more of an impact than than Lou Will is this season. Um, another guy I had was probably like, obviously Lou Will and Montrez, maybe. Oh, no, I'm missing Drogic. somebody. Juan Oh yeah, nice yeah, yeah, off the bench. Yeah, he's been real nice. And uh, Rose. Rose, yeah, Rose. Yeah, yeah. But he's yeah, he's yeah, he's doing his thing. But Pistons like suck. So yeah. Who did the Lakers want? Who did the Pistons want for Rose? Did didn't they want Caruso? They want Caruso. <laughs> Lakers said no. I mean, people are on and people on Twitter were roasting the fuck out of them. It was bad. <laughs> bro, like, Pe- people on Twitter got they no chill. Needed that. Lakers needed that, bro. They yeah, that's, a like a, that's the only thing they need. They need another playmaker besides from LeBron. Last but not least, we got Coach of the Year. Um, for me, this is pretty easy. I got, I got a Nick Nurse here. So, hey. Um, yeah, you too. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, at first, I, w- I was thinking about it. For me, it was between Nick Nurse and Mike Malone. Mike Malone was up there. Yeah, he was up there too. Because they, they've they've had a lot of injuries this season. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly why I had Nick Nurse. Because let me read you off this: Pascal Siakam missed eleven games. Kyle Lowry missed twelve games. Freddie Van Fred Van Vliet sixteen missed games. Norman Powell, who's been a big big surprise, he's averaging like sixteen. Uh, isn't he the one? Isn't he? Isn't he the one they were talking about? His stats went up after he, like he held uh Van Leeds child, his kid or something. Yeah, that was yeah. That's who we're yeah. talking about. Yeah, but he he dropped like thirty the last the last game before they canceled everything. But <laughs> Norman Powell missed twenty games. Ibaka missed eighteen games. Gasol missed twenty eight games. So that was, that's their like top <laughs> seven players right there. They have all missed ten plus games. <laughs> I forgot. And I Nick forgot about Ibaka. Having, Bach has been playing really well this season compared to last year. Yeah. I forgot about Gasol because he's been out so much. I forgot about him, but too. But for, for, for his top seven players to all be out at least ten games and still have the second-best record in the East, insane, dude. They're top insane. five in defense. Did you know that? Yep. Yep. I didn't oh, know they, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do. Was, and they have the third-best record in the whole league, bro, with all that missed time. <laughs> so like they'd probably mm, they'd probably give the Bucks a run for their money for the best record if they were healthy. Yeah, but, yeah. But uh, yeah, I had this, I had Nick Nurse for the same reason. I had Mike Malone up there too because the Nuggets have been dealing with a couple injuries too. Yeah, Millsap's been out a lot. Yeah, uh, Jamal. Shout, hey, shout out to Jamal Murray. <laughs> oh yeah, that was bad. 
But did you see Dame and CJ's uh, video call? Yeah. That was so bad, bro. That was <laughs> bad. Lie. Bro, Dame, CJ bro. Like, Bro, Dame is hilarious. Dame was like, bro, you should be talking about that, bro. Come on, bro. bro. <laughs> Dame wanted to bust out laughing so bad. <laughs> bro, that it was bad. Crying, bro. <laughs> That's <heavy. laughs> bro, we're gonna take a pause. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show the video after this in a couple of seconds. So yeah. Y'all gotta yeah, watch. Yeah, we gotta show that. I don't wanna put nothing around his neck. Like I don't wanna have her. Uh, they said my, they said my pubes look like Jamal Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey! This is why you can't. This is why you can't have CJ on live because you go bro, address them type of com- you can't address them the type of comments, bro. Just read the comments, bro. Oh yeah, I was watching. Um, well, not watching. I was. I don't know why I said watching. I was looking. I was looking at an article, and it was about <laughs> LeBron, and about how oh well, people think well the rest for LeBron is good, and LeBron was talking about how oh well, oh well. Oh, yeah. For me, the rest isn't good because right now my body's telling me what am I. He was like, my body's telling me what am I doing because right now they'd be, they'd, they they'd be almost playoff time. Yeah. But like he he's just chilling at home right now. So he was like, <laughs> well, for me he's, he was like for me it's gonna be difficult because my body's not used to this and you know he's th- he's thirty he's thirty five years old. Yeah. And that, then yeah, every, all the younger guys are getting rest too, so that's not that's not good for him either. That's true, yeah. Even even, even even though even though he's getting rest, the younger guys getting rest is even more worse yeah, for him. But he's getting like he's getting older, so like, yeah, like, he got to play down. <laughs> but and like yeah, he was on he was on I think IG Live or like Skype with he was doing an interview with like Channing Fry and Richard Jefferson. That's where yeah. that's where he said that from. And uh, oh, I know that. And then Richard Jefferson was like, bro. The older you get, the the harder it is to get back in shape. Like, like it's gonna be hard to get back in shape. I know we all talk about LeBron being like not human and stuff, but I mean he's human. Like, come on, like I mean he's thirty five. It's gonna catch I up. Mean, it, it's gonna catch yeah. up to him. And that's gonna wrap it up. Donovan Mitchell and uh, Rudy Gobert and Christian Wood have recovered from Corona, so that's one step. But sadly, Doris Burke caught it. Speedy recovery for her, man. People just need to stay in the house. It's that simple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it, bro. Like, stay in the house for a week. You'll be fine. People are just... <laughs> I don't know what the word for it is. <laughs> They're just... I don't know. Dumbfounded. I, I, don't, I, don't, yeah, I don't know the word for it. They're, they're just different. <laughs> in a bad way. A different breed. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out oh, to you. Man. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy yeah, birthday, my brother. All right, bro. But anyways, about to wrap this up. Um, we'll be coming at y'all with the if the season ended today, part two with our playoff predictions and like who would win each round, how many games. So I can't wait to talk about that. I go like, comment, subscribe to all of our other videos. Um, we're about to get back on this consistency right here. You know what I mean? Anyways, man, I'm Jimmy. I'm Eric. And we are out. Peace. Peace.